Good Tuesday, everyone. This is meteorologist Dave Snyder at the National Weather Service with Alaska Statewide Weather. Low pressure still hanging out around the YK Delta with that rain and snow has been reported around Cape Newenham, northward toward Amonic, and just east of the Etol and Strait region there. 978 millibar low is setting up to deepen substantially as we head into the next 24 hours south of the Aleutians as that moves into the southern Bering. Watch for some wind to move across with that. And high pressure sitting across the central and eastern interior. With that, we expect a generally clear sky tonight and cooler temperatures there. A wave of low pressure keeping things dry for most of southeast. And there's a few pockets of rain across the south central coastline and around Akiak and uh, Sand Point as we head through the afternoon. In the meantime, winter storm warnings are now in effect from 6 p.m. tonight through 6 p.m. Wednesday for the uh, lower Kobuk and Noatak valleys there, a l- little bit further up the hill and inland. Winter weather advisories are uh, in effect for the upper Kobuk and no attack valleys. We're expecting as much as four to about seven inches of snow during the time period there from tonight all the way through Wednesday. A winter weather advisories are posted for the lower Yukon and the middle Yukon valleys as well as the lower Koyukuk. Expecting those regions uh, to be expecting some lesser amounts of snow and probably some wind with that. Gusts there could reach upwards of 40 to 45 miles per hour at times and because of that there could be some uh, probably a reduction in visibility with that. For the St. Lawrence Island and Bering Strait Coast, a winter weather advisory is posted there, about one to three inches of snow and some stronger gusts are possible in that area. Kotzebue could be looking at about three to five inches of snow with gusts to 45 miles per hour. And a high wind watch is posted for the uh, eastern Aleutians and the uh, central Aleutians will be looking at some stronger winds as that storm force low again is working northward. By Wednesday, that could drop to about 942 millibars and that will bring a chance for rain and snow through the region. By Thursday, the low has already filled in to about 961 millibars in the western bearing, so concerns will be lessening with that as we go through the remainder of the week. With high pressure across the north coast at 1,023 millibars, we'll still see generally clear and dry conditions for most of the north, the interior, and the west. And across southwest, a chance for a few rain and snow showers there as a new wave of low pressure develops across the western gulf and drops to 955 millibars. Southeast still looking dry through the period with periods of rain and snow showers for Prince William Sound and the eastern Kenai Peninsula and Kodiak Island. With Alaska Statewide Weather, this is meteorologist Dave Snyder.